If you or a family member have an implanted pacemaker or defibrillator, listen to this. Doctors are concerned that magnets in the iPhone 12 could disable the medical devices we're talking about and pose a potential serious health risk. Yeah, all new this morning, Bryant Madrick reveals doctors' concerns and what can be done. This is a defibrillator right here. For people who need it, an implanted defibrillator is a device keeping them alive should their heart stop. But when the iPhone 12 is near someone's implanted device, problems could appear because of magnets in the phone. Cardiologist Sanjay Gupta is with St. Luke's Mid-America. The function of this device um, has a safety feature that can be disabled in the presence of a magnet. And that's been since the very first of these devices. Findings from the Heart Rhythm Society, a nonprofit that focuses on cardiac rhythm disorders, shows magnets in the iPhone 12 are so strong, if a heart stops beating, the phone could stop an implanted defibrillator or pacemaker from providing a life-saving shock to the heart. Apple released a statement which reads, though all iPhone 12 models contain more magnets than prior iPhone models, they're not expected to pose a greater risk of magnetic interference to medical devices than prior iPhone models. Apple's advice, keep the phone at least six inches away from an implanted defibrillator and talk with your doctor. It's not like we would tell them, don't buy an iPhone 12. We would say, you know, you can still use it, just don't put it right over the device, which is what we've been telling them for years. Yeah, so that's the message. You really just be careful. Now, this morning we're live out front of the Apple store here on the Country Club Plaza, and I will tell you, this is just one place where you can get that iPhone 12. But if you notice, especially for men, the shirt pockets right over the heart. If you have that implanted device, well, it's right over your heart. So the doctor, the main message is just break that habit of probably putting that phone in your pocket and put it someplace else. Once again, you can get the phone. But if you have that implanted device, you're going to have to be very careful in terms of how close that phone gets to that implanted device. Wow. Back to you. Yeah, that could be so easy to do. So are magnets a problem in other phones? Yeah. Well, great, great question. So this has always been an issue, the doctor tells me. But the biggest problem with this phone is the size of the magnets and how strong they are. That's why there's a main concern here. There's always been a concern with previous models, but never to this level. This is different because of the size and the strength, and that's why they're putting out this warning. Mm -hmm. Putting it live this morning on the Country Club Plaza, where the snow continues to fall. <laughs> right, Metro, 41 Action News.